Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Falls Tarot. Before we do begin, I would like to make a general announcement. Um, I am now reopen for personal reading, so if you would like to book a reading, you can contact me at romancefulltarot at gmail.com. You can also look into the description box. In the description box, you will find all the necessary information in order to book a reading with me. Um, that being said, if you do enjoy the channel and you do enjoy my messages and my videos, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading here. Um, this reading is all about uh, third parties. So it's really, really important to take whatever resonates with you, of course, and what does not, just leave it aside. If it doesn't seem like it fits, most likely it doesn't. So this reading is for the sign of Aries. We want to know, is there a third party in your relationship? Let's go find out. I have the lovers. I have the nine of wands. I have the six of cups. I have the eight of swords, seven of pentacles, the world, the high priestess, the five of pentacles, the death card. And down here I have the flowers with the steampunk, heart, lady, kisses, pipe, letter, bells, and drum. So, what does all of this mean? Let's go see. So, I do feel as though, yes, you are involved into a third party. What is telling me that? The lovers over here. The lovers is all about third parties. Well, not necessarily. It's about choices also, but this is a choice that they made within the relationship. So, I feel as though the relationship was not going all that well. I feel like there was a lot of, um, there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of sadness. There's isolation. I feel as though you're you're distancing yourself slowly. I feel like there's some cold shoulder. I feel like the love is just kind of dissipating. Um, so I, I feel that they basically um, are looking for, they're looking for some attention. They're looking for some passion. They're looking for a little bit of joy into their life because right now they just don't really have that at home because of all the problems and all the, the conflicts that are going on. And so this is, well, this is their main reason for, you know, going and searching elsewhere. So that is their reason for going for a third party. Um, that being said, I feel as though, um, I feel like they're sticking around. Um, how long are they going to stick around? I don't know. They're testing the waters is what they're doing. They're putting the last stick into the ground now is what they're doing. And they're trying to see, you know, what they can do with that. So the last stick is being put into the ground and then... Um, they're going to see, is this going to, you know, fructify or is this going to go the other way around? Right now, as I said, you know, they really don't have a happy face and this is truly it. They're not happy. They're frustrated. They're angry. Um, the relationship is just not going, you know, the way that it's supposed to be. And they've just, they're kind of fed up of the whole thing, but they're kind of, they're still sticking around. They want to see what's going to be happening. I have over here this card. The Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is trying to demonstrate to us that there's been quite a few illusions that have been told within this relationship. There's been some, um, a lot of lies, there's been a lot of hiding the information, a lot of masks with, um, you know, emotions behind it. Um, this card is really about, you know, like, look how grandiose this Sunday is. I'm going to give you this, but in reality, what I'm going to give you is about this big, right? So it's all about, you know, these dreams and these goals, everything that seems big and fun and perfect. But in reality, it's really just not what you're going to get at all. So these are just lies that are being told so that you can stick around. I feel as though you've been stuck into this situation. You've been put there by your partner, of course. You're not the one who did this, but you've been put there. But you can easily detach yourself from this situation, but you're... You're, you have a lot of fear, you have a, a lot of anxiety about the future, about what's going to happen once you detach yourself, once you, you take off that bandana that's covering your eyes, then you're going to be able to see whatever is going on for real in the real world, and then you're going to realize that, you know, you have sadness, you have fear, you have a lot of decisions to make, and that is bringing upon the fact that you're keeping this mask on. You're just not emotionally uh, ready for it to face what is going on into your relationship. Moving on, I have over here the um, 
the seven of pentacles and i know with the seven of pentacles i know that you've done a lot of work you've tried a lot of different things you've tried to make the you know the situation better but the seven of, of pentacles here is trying to say it doesn't really matter what it is that you do it doesn't matter over here we're painting the roses red we're painting them red because you know the queen likes them red but we're just not going to get what it is that we want and because when it rains, what's going to happen to the red roses? They're going to become white again. So that is no good whatsoever. So this is really about um, giving up on something because we're seeing that it doesn't matter how much effort we put into it. It's just not going to give anything. I feel as though in this relationship, you're just not getting what it is that you want. You're not getting um, the completion that you want. And you're not going to be able to get the completion that you want neither in this relationship. Anyways, not as a relationship stands as it is. Um, so this is you trying to look to complete whatever it is that you need to feel good about yourself. In the future, I feel as though you can't see the future in this relationship. And this is one of the main problems because with the High Priestess, this is a looking glass. The looking glass in Alice in Wonderland is a magical mirror. When you look in it, you're supposed to see your future. The problem here, Alice only sees herself. Same thing applies to you. You're not seeing the other person. You're not seeing the partner. You're not seeing anything else. Just yourself, just a little bit older. So this is really trying to give us a message that, you know, in this relationship, it doesn't really look like it's going all that much further off because you're not able to see anything. There's nothing that is pictured within the journey in the future. I feel as though this relationship at some point, I know you're putting a lot of efforts in, I know that they're still there, but I feel as though this um, this is going to um, eventually, um, you know, we're going to blow out the candle, we're going to figure out that, you know, this is it and this is the end um, for this relationship. Um, I feel as though they are the ones who are going, who's going to end the relationship. Um, and you're going to want to continue the relationship. You're going to want to repair it. You're going to want to find some solutions. You're going to want to continue it. But uh, I, I can clearly see that they are the ones who are is going to uh, break it up. If I move over to the steampunk over here, the bells is telling you it's, you know, ding, 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 ding. It's warning you something is wrong. You need to keep your eyes wide open. There's cheating. There's, um, there's hidden um, information from you. The letter is a correspondence that you're going to be getting by your partner, which is going to be a letter which is going to be explaining, and it's not necessarily a letter, it could be a text, it could be an email, and it's explaining that, you know, this situation can just no longer continue, that they're not happy, that they want to move on. The pipe is all about double dealing, so, you know, this is playing on two different fields at the same time, and this is what your partner is doing. Um, the lady over here is depicting the uh, the person who is in the third party with your partner. May it be a he or may it be a she. The heart is all about the sadness and the heartbreak and the frustration that is related within this relationship right now. Uh, the drum right now, your partner is really just thinking about themselves. They're very um, egocentric. Um, they're not really caring about anybody else. It's just me, 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 myself and I. Um, the kisses is about a fleeting romance. It's a romance that is ending. Um, and the flowers is you must handle this situation with care. It's very fragile. So uh, please be very careful while handling this situation with your partner. So this does conclude the reading of if there is a third party. Um, if you do have any great questions, it's creating you some anxiety. Don't base yourself just on what I've said here. It is a general for everybody. Um, so if there's anything, you can contact me, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings and have yourself a blessed day. Thank you for being there and I'll see you soon.